Hey there, it's Seb Fry here with another exciting episode of Seb Fry TV. So the other day I was talking about how I really love a new year and we're not quite done with this year yet, 2018, uh, but it is a time of year when um, I do a lot of resetting, right? Like I'm trying to like get ready for the year to come and there's a lot of stuff that I'm working on for next year. Uh, you know, I do have my Savvy Seller Seminar coming up on January 24th and I am working on the content for that. I'm also making a presentation in Las Vegas uh, on February, I think it is first or second, um, for a, a real estate conference. And uh, they just sent me an email today saying, hey, your slides are due on December 7th. Today's a fourth, so I have three days to uh, finish those up. But it's a wonderful time to not relax, not check out, but actually this time of year, it fires me up. You know what I mean? Like it's colder and the days are shorter, right? Um, but it really gets me motivated for a new year because I look at a new year as like a rebirth, you know, and every single day really is a, another opportunity to reinvent yourself, to redefine who you are and what you're about, right? I mean, like there's nothing that says that today has to be like yesterday or that tomorrow has to be like last week. In fact, there's nothing that says that the next second has to be like the second before. You can choose to do anything you want to do in any moment, right? So do I choose next year to be a real estate agent who sells two or three times as many homes as I sell today? Or do I choose to be a real estate agent who sells a similar number of homes or maybe even a lower number of homes uh, because I just don't feel that I have the energy or the emotional bandwidth? There's so many things that we think sort of happen to us that are in fact just choices. We choose not to go the extra mile. We choose not to reach for the brass ring and we have our reasons for doing that. And most of that is because of our programs, right? We're programmed internally not to stretch, not to get out of our safe zone, our comfort zone, because that's what they call it. That's, that's why they call it that. It's safe and it's comfortable. It's a place you wanna be, but that's not a place that you're gonna grow from. So it's this time of year when I really sort of like reflect and reassess and plan for the future. So I'm really having a great time uh, so far in December. You know, it's pretty early, I'm getting kind of a jump on it. I think a lot of folks maybe start this process in January or in February. For me, it's this month. You know, it is the quietest month of the real estate calendar. I do have some properties that I'm working on uh, getting sold, of course, um, but it is quieter, right? I mean, like there's a little bit less going on and I take this time to reflect and plan to grow and to get better. And you know, that's one thing why I'm really enjoying, um, you know, like not drinking booze right now and having this pretty strict diet because it really helps me stay focused. It helps me stay cleared. It helps me channel all that energy, not into gluttony, right? Which I think a lot of people are being kind of gluttonous this time of year, right? I mean, it gives holiday parties and, and all of that, a lot of eggnog and fruitcake and, uh, you know, spiced, you know, hot drinks or whatever, you know? Uh, I'm not having any of that this year. I'm saving all my energy for working, um, not in my business, but on my business. And I'm just tremendously excited about it. Um, I just, I'm, I can't wait for 2019 because, you know, so many fun and exciting things are gonna be happening. You know, I'm gonna be president of the Santa Cruz County Association of Realtors, right? Which isn't like that big of a deal, I don't think in the grand scheme of things, but it kind of is for me and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm bursting at the seams, you know, I, mean, I, I just, I feel great. And uh, it's this time of year, especially uh, when I really am just super jazzed and fired up. And how about you? Are you excited about the new year? Are you getting ready to find out how you can improve, what you can achieve, produce and accomplish in the coming year. Uh, if you have anything to share with that, go ahead and make a comment on Facebook or here on YouTube or God forbid on Twitter someplace. Just let me know that somebody out there is listening to this and it's resonating with you. All right, that's it for this episode of Seb Fry TV. I'm all fired up, I hope you are too. I'll yak at you again real soon.